Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to test and diagnose the knee airbag on this Ford Fiesta. In case that airbag light is on and you have knee airbag fault code, this video might be helpful. So as usual, in this video, we're gonna see how we can do the diagnostic with a scan tool. We're gonna have a look at the wind diagram as well. And then I will show you a step-by-step -step diagnosis for this knee airbag. Before starting the video, if you guys haven't subscribed the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested more, you can find our online courses on udemy.com. You can find the link to our online courses in this video description. On this Ford airbag light is on. We're gonna connect the scan tool first to read the fault code. So restraint control system. Let's see what fault code we have. So as you see, we have driver's knee airbag fault code. So right now that we have this knee airbag fault code, we're gonna check the live data to see what we can get from it. All right, live data right here. And if I select all. Okay, so you see the live data right here. Generally on the airbag system, Airbag resistance should be something close to 2, 2.5 ohms. So this one, as you see, driver airbag in this case is 3 ohms, which is acceptable. Passenger airbag is uh, 2.3. This one is good as well. If you scroll down, driver seat belt pretensioner should be in that range, 2.4. This one is good. And right here, as you see, curtain airbag is giving us high resistance. It's not really important because this car doesn't have curtain airbag, but front knee airbag is giving us 65 ohms. So this is too high. That's why we had that fault code. So this resistance is too high. It has to be something exactly like the previous one, around 2.3, 2.4 ohms. But this is too much. This is too high. So this shows that there is a high resistance on knee airbag circuit. So when we have this kind of fault code, as you see the diagram on the screen right now, so knee airbag is connected to the airbag control unit with two wires. Airbag control unit checks the knee airbag with these two wires. And if it needs to deploy in any accident from the front side, it's going to deploy the airbag by providing the voltage through these two wires. So this problem could be caused by the knee airbag itself or wiring or airbag control unit. So how can we start to do the diagnosis? Because of course, for the knee airbag itself, even if we are reading the resistance right here on the scan tool, and even if we know the specification, we cannot go for checking the internal resistance of the knee airbag itself. Because your multimeter is going to provide some voltage on the knee airbag, so there is a chance that multimeter may deploy your airbags. So for the safety reason, never check the internal resistance of any airbag with multimeter. So we're going to go for removing the knee airbag but because I don't have any replacement part right here and most of the time we don't have it in the workshop, we need to find a faulty component and if it is the knee airbag, we order a brand new part. So in this case, right now, I cannot say if the knee airbag is broken or the wiring and I don't have any replacement part and I cannot check the internal resistance of the knee airbag. What I can do because I know the specification for internal resistance of the knee airbag, I can actually simulate it. So using this dummy resistor, I can simulate the knee airbag because this one is going to provide something around 2.2 ohm resistance for us. So what I will do, I will remove the knee airbag, I will disconnect the knee airbag connector and then I'm going to insert this one on the knee airbag connector on the wiring harness side because this resistor is going to play as an airbag. When you have inserted this one, and we're going to try to erase the code and we will read this live data over here again. If after inserting the dummy resistor, live data is back to normal, it means the knee airbag itself is broken and we have this certainty to order a brand new one and to replace it. But if this one remains the same after inserting the dummy resistor, problem could be from the wiring or from the airbag control unit. So here is the knee airbag. There are two 10 mil knots at the back holding the knee airbag. I already removed them and some clips over here to hold them here. And after that, you can 
remove the knee airbag. But please remember, anytime that you are working on the airbag system, you need to make sure that ignition switch is off, battery negative terminal is disconnected, and you have to wait for a few minutes until the airbag control unit capacitor is discharged because you don't want any sort of sudden discharge from the airbag control unit. So you wait for a few minutes and then you can start doing the diagnosis. So I'm gonna remove this knee airbag, pull it out like this, knee airbag itself is removed. All right guys, I have removed the knee airbag. So this is the airbag connector that I have disconnected from the knee airbag. It does have two locks in here. When you wanna remove it, just press this locks and pull it out. So this connector sits right here on the knee airbag. Right now that I'm gonna do the simulation, I grab this resistor and I put it just right here inside the airbag connector like this. Then I'm gonna connect the scan tool again to read the code, to erase the code and check the live dot. But before going for that, please remember that what we are trying today is just for testing the airbag. This dummy resistor is actually one part of the diagnosis to identify a faulty airbag. So you cannot leave this one on the car because of course, if you leave this one on the car, airbag is not gonna deploy and it's a big, big risk for the life of the driver. So we do this only for identifying a faulty component. And if this one works, and if we see that airbag is back to normal after putting this dummy resistor in here, it confirms that the knee airbag is faulty and we have to buy a brand new one and install it on the car. All right, let's go for connecting the battery negative terminal back on and we'll read the fault code again. All right, everyone, as you see, dummy resistor is installed and I'm gonna read the fault code right now. So right here, let's go for the restraint control system. So fault code still exists. I'm gonna clear it. So fault code is gone. And as you see, the dummy resistor is just right there. But I will go back on the live data because I wanna make sure that it's really fixed. And if I select all the live data, you remember the live data for knee airbag was 65. So now it's back to 2.2. So that's why everything is fixed. When we have this kind of change on knee airbag live data and code is gone, it means the knee airbag itself is broken because right now after the simulation, everything is back to normal. So we have this 100% certainty that knee airbag itself is broken. But if right now after inserting the dummy resistor, you still had same high resistance, of course, you need to go for checking the wiring because most likely the problem is from the wiring or the worst case scenario is gonna be the airbag control unit. But most of the time problem is from the airbag or wiring. So in this case, we're gonna need to replace the knee airbag to get the car fixed. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We have some other videos for airbag diagnosis as well. You can find them on the channel.